This short tutorial will show you how to create relationship between different tables in Excel 2010. The reason we are referring to Excel 2010 is that, in all latest versions of Excel, building relationship is straightforward and is inbuilt. But in Excel 2010, there is no direct way to have relationship between two tables. For this, you will need to download and install Microsoft Power Pivot component, a small add-in component, from Microsoft website. For your convenience, I have provided link in description, from where you will get the same. Remember, there are two different version of this file. One is for 32-bit MS Office Excel, and another one is for 64-bit MS Office version. You will need to install only that matches your Excel version. You can check your Excel 2010 version from File tab, in that Help button, and in right side bottom you can see the version. Once downloaded required file from the given link, double click it and run that. Install it. Even after installation, you will not find Power Pivot tab in the ribbon. Power Pivot need to be enabled. From this point, steps for all Excel versions are same. Click on File tab. In that go to the Option button. In that select Add-in. In that, select Com Add-in from drop-down options. Another window will pop up in that select power pivot and enable it by check mark. Press OK. Power pivot is now enabled and is ready for use. Now, we will add all three data tables into data model using power pivot. In Excel 2010, we need to perform three steps to have multiple tables in data model to create relationship between different tables and to use them in pivot table. Step 1. Add all tables in data model using Power Pivot. Step 2. Create relationship. Step 3. Create pivot table from within Power Pivot only. Let us add all tables in data model. There are two different methods to create relationship depending on your Excel workbook security. A. When the workbook having data is not protected. And B. When the workbook having data is protected. We will cover both scenario in this video. Let me start with simple scenario where this workbook is not protected. Select any cell in first table. Click on Power Pivot. Click on Create Linked Table. Table gets added. Repeat same task to add one by one all required tables. Second table also got added. Third table also added. Before creating relationship, let us see basic requirement. To create relationship between tables, we will need at least one common field between the tables. Let us have look at different fields of these tables. When you observe, you will notice that product code field is present in both product as well as in retail sales tables. Same way, dealers field is common field in retail sales as well as in region tables. We can use these common field present in these tables to create relationship between these tables. Click on Design tab of Power Pivot window. Click on Create Relationship. Select Retail Sales in Table option. And Dealer from the column drop-down. Next, select Region as Second Table. And Dealers as Related Column. Press Create to create relationship. Same way, create another relationship. This time, select Product Detail as first table. With Product Code as column. And Retail Sales as second table. And Product Code as related column. Press Create to create relationship. Relations are now established among all three selected tables. 
at this point, let me warn you about the mistake you may do. You must keep it in mind that although you can create pivot table from your regular insert tab, don't do that. If you create pivot table in your regular way, you will not be able to get benefits of data model. So remember, you need to be in power pivot window only and from that you must select pivot table option to create pivot table from the home tab of the power pivot window. Click on pivot table button. You will get option to create pivot table in new sheet or existing sheet. Select as per your need and press OK. Blank pivot table gets created. And you can see that all three data tables, which we had linked, are visible in field list. You can seamlessly use any field of any table. To create state-wise revenue, we need to select state field from region table and revenue field from retail sales table. And we got the report using multiple data tables. Similarly, we can create product-wise sales report. Now we will cover the scenario where the data file is protected. In this scenario, as in real life, we have taken protected data workbook. And your trouble starts. The problem would be that you will get error even if you try to use Power Pivot. To overcome this problem, we will start new workbook. And we will use Power Pivot from this workbook to achieve our goal. From Power Pivot menu, click on Power Pivot window. Next, as our Excel data file is separate file, we will use Get External Data. In that, click on From Other Data. New option window will get open. We will need to select our data source type. As our data file is Excel workbook, we will select our data file type as Excel. We will need to navigate to our data file. Here we need to take care of selecting first row as column header checkbox. Next it will show us all tables that are present in that Excel file. Select required tables to import and press finish. Once selected, selected data tables will get imported to this power pivot. Once data tables have come, REST procedure is same as we have shown earlier in this video. That is, creating relationship and creating pivot table involves same steps that is shown earlier in this video itself. In this way, we can even create relationship and reports from protected data workbook. If you find this video useful, like this video and subscribe to this channel.